What's going on guys, it's the Kitty here and welcome back to another one of my videos. Unless of course you happen to be new to my channel, in which case I will say hello to you my friend and if you enjoy regular gaming entertainment, including live streams, you've come to the right place. Consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon for my future content. This video is titled New Top 10 Gods 2018 and is a proper countdown of the Top 10 Gods for the Gods of Olympus game which is available for iOS and Android. With 10 gods to choose from, who is going to be number 1, and where in the top 10 is Hermes going to be. So as before, I have put these gods in reverse order from 10 to 1 based on what I feel is their effectiveness in the game. This may give people who haven't got all 10 gods an idea as to which ones to get first. Number 10 so Coming in at number 10 is Zeus. A very effective god and the first one you unlock when you start the game. His slow time ability is one of the best ultimate abilities in the game, but he is let down by his primary and secondary abilities which don't make a massive difference on the battlefield compared to a lot of the other gods. He is a close range unit so is easily attacked by archers and will take a lot of damage when destroying temples or any buildings with hero houses next to them. He is quite often the first one to die in battle because of this. Number 9 in ninth place is Apollo, his heal ability is obviously useful, his flaming arrows are probably the best crowd control ability of all the gods, not including Artemis' ultimate ability. In my opinion his sun strike ability is pretty much redundant and I haven't seen it used in maybe a year or more. I've never really found a good use for this ability, although when I was at a lower level I did see it used a little when accompanied by Artemis' long shot. This technique doesn't really get used much, if at all, on the higher levels due to the strength of the temples. Number 8 At number 8 I have put Hermes. Make no mistake he is an amazing god and is a welcome addition to the team, but is he a game changer? I don't think so. He will obviously improve your attacks with his speed boost ability being favourable over his dash ability, but there are better gods to choose from before him in my opinion. His regroup ability is pretty handy for relocating your gods and recharging their powers, and when used correctly can help take down temples pretty quick. Number 7 God number 7 is Artemis. The top 7 gods are very close in their usefulness so it was difficult placing them but I put Artemis here. She is one of my favourite gods and all of her abilities are brilliant. Her long shot can take out key towers and buildings from distance and sometimes even a temple. Her spread shot is excellent for slow push and targets both troops and buildings which is amazing. Her Hawkstorm ultimate is the number 1 troop destroyer there is. You must protect her at all costs as she is very fragile and usually the first god that the enemies try to attack. Here she is now using her spread shot on Hawkstorm ability to keep those pesky critters at bay. Number 6 At number 6 is the mighty Aphrodite. Another favourite god of mine, she has a unique ultimate ability that makes her indestructible for a short period of time. Whilst in this mode, her two other abilities are recharged at a super fast rate, meaning you can convert a heck of a lot of troops or buildings in a very short space of time. I personally use the building charm more as I find it very useful due to high level enemy Aphrodite towers nulling your charm troop ability until it is destroyed. It's always handy to try to charm cyclops and flame towers with her to make skeletons more effective during attacks. She is another physically weak god and needs to be protected at all costs. Here she is now using her amazing all ability and charming the heck out of the buildings that are in the vicinity. No real threats from defense towers so charming the spawner buildings means there's ultimately less troops attacking me. Number 5 In at number 5 we have Athena. Her summon hot place ability is great but for high level plays it's her Aegis shield that really stands out. Its ability to soak up incredible damage makes her the first god that gets sent into battle. Her summon hot place ability is useful but as with Aphrodite's charm troops it's not advisable to use this when the Aphrodite tower is in play as it will charm them all against you. Her ultimate inspiration ability is another must have as not only does it massively increase all your gods damage but it also reduces the damage taken by them at the same time. This makes her a key addition to anyone's arsenal. Number 4 In at number 4 we have Hades. Now Hades reanimate is an amazing ability that is similar to Athena's summon hoplites but his skeletons although not as powerful can't be converted by the Aphrodite tower. This makes this ability incredibly useful for attacking structures and also keeping the enemy's defensive troops at bay. In my opinion he is probably the best supporting god in the game. Cerberus is also a great ability and he can be used in different ways, either helping with the main attack, distracting troops and buildings or dropping right next to a temple it can destroy by itself. 
The Ross ability is hardly used compared with Reanimate, but it can also be effective in some situations. If you ever attack a hero temple surrounded by hero houses, then using Rot while attacking can often remove the houses before the temple is destroyed, thereby avoiding possible fatal damage to your gods. Number 3 in the bronze position or third place is Ares. He is a tank unit that deals massive damage. At the start of the fight, using his bloodless and battle charge together with Athena's inspiration, it enables him to smash through and destroy even the most fortified temples. He can pass through many buildings like a knife through buster using this technique. His whirlwind is another ability not to be sniffed at because it reduces his incoming damage and can wipe out a multitude of troops in the process. It tends to act as a shield for the other gods when used this way. Like with Cerberus, he can be used to take out a temple single-handedly, he's that powerful, which is why I've ranked him at number 3. Number 2! In the silver position and at number 2, I have decided to put Poseidon. I still think that Poseidon is the people's favourite, and so we'll probably put him at number 1 on this list, but it's a close call. His ultimate Kraken ability deals incredible damage to many buildings on the map, and more when used with Athena's inspiration. His Water Blast ability is immensely powerful and gives him the strongest attack of all the gods in the game. He can use it to repel troops or primarily to target temples which can be demolished in a few seconds. His Tidal Wave ability is used more at lower to medium levels or as a last second effort before death. It is generally more powerful than Artemis' long shot and can go through buildings and troops sometimes even destroying temples. He is an amazing god that needs to be in everyone's roster and should be one of the first that you unlock when starting the game. Number 1 Taking the gold and number one on this list is Hera. For me, it still has to be Hera at number one on the list, and I will tell you why. Hera is for me the most unique god in the game. She's the only god capable of recharging her health, and if her absorb ability is used correctly with her wrath ability, a nearly dead Hera can become fully charged in an instant. Her reflect ability is also massively useful, especially at high levels where she is often used to spearhead the second attack wave. Defensive towers that target her can sometimes end up destroying themselves due to the damage reflecting back from her. She is quite often dropped into the middle of a set of buildings which maximises the damage caused by her ultimate wrath ability. This ability not only damages and destroys buildings but instantly wipes out any troops in its destructive range. So there you have it guys, my proper top 10 gods for a 2018 list. Do you agree with my list? Let me know in the comment section below who you would have as number 1. If this video entertained you in any way, smash that like button because that will be super awesome. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and I will see you guys next time.